in morbid mediation news. Meditation. Mediation? Meditation. I've been drinking. Meditation <laughs> news. <laughs> submitted, submitted by Esau Fluffy. 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 Esau Fluffy, I want to die. Mm hmm. A university is offering students an actual grave to lie in to cope with exam stress. Huh? I don't know what that means. Do, do I need to read it one more time? I think you read it wrong. Is it because they're like, I think no. I read it correctly. I think it was said, written wrong. I said mediation initially, and I had to change it to meditation. True. So I read it correctly after that. Yeah. I think the student's going like, uh, I'm so stressed out, I want to die. No, well, you could just lay in this grave for and now pretend and just die. pretend die, I guess. And then you don't want to be dead, so now go up and study. Maybe that's That it. is confusing. All right, so I have a video to show you guys. Oh, God, there's a video for this? Mm-hmm. And, uh... Oh, hell no. About it. So this is... You're scared. In the Netherlands. Oh. Is it in snow and shit? Oh. Oh. And not U.S. news. <laughs> Why don't they just get a hooker? <laughs> Why don't they get a hooker? It's in the Netherlands. It was a very unique experience because I've never been so close to nature before. And normally when I meditate, my thoughts go all over the place. I think about school about uh, work or anything and in the grave you really think about life and, that looks dope. and, and what it means and what's important in life the end of life death uh, is a taboo difficult for students that full of smart as fuck when you are gold, <laughs> you have gold in your life you want to be happy and you have the, the he looks like a jurassic park guy on a diet nice partner and maybe becoming children and so so that is very difficult to talk about especially when you're 18 90 20 years old hmm Okay, I understand. It just seems like a ghetto sensory deprivation thing. <laughs> I know, right? Hold in the ground, lay here, oh, close your eyes. Fucking chill. But it really contextualizes life. Exactly. Yeah, it's like, is this really worth getting all fucking worked right. up for? It's a damn exam. That, that shit got deep. Like this. You know what I'm saying? I know. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know you would like this. Mm -hmm. That is actually, yeah. Mm. Makes okay. you think about shit. Did you die? No, then don't complain. That's my resting energy, I feel like, at all times. What's what? your resting this energy? Almost dead? What? How people feel probably in that coffin. Is I'm always like, well, did know. you die? There's so much shit that you could stress about, but to me, it's not actually dire until it's dire. Yeah. If that makes sense. Isn't it fun to act stressed, though? Right. Mm, no, know. it's not. No? I'm in the, I stress I myself stress. out, and I've had to learn how to not stress myself out. How did you do it? My... Oh. Well, that's because oh, you're really yeah, stressed. True, true. This is how she did it. No, I'm water. It's water. No, I'm still learning. I mean, shit. I'm I'm like one of those like wor I'm a warrior. I'm like, warrior, huh? Warrior. <laughs> I'm not a warrior. I'm a warrior. And um, warrior. I make up. I've like had to learn how to like stop making up scenarios in my head of worst case and this <laughs> and like the constant anxiety thinker, anxiety, depression. I don't want to get out of bed. Like I've had to. I want to say the other day had to go. You feel this? It's okay. You got an hour. Now after that, get up. And mm -hmm. for some reason I was like, oh shit, that worked. And then I went about my day. Have you ever heard of the, it could always be worse attitude? Sometimes I'm like, and? Oh, <laughs> yeah. damn. And? For me, it's it, like, it could always get worse. So I'm like, why stress the fuck out over When I hear people say that, I'm like, so? I'm already thinking it's already worse. But well, have yeah. you ever seen a lady Dream. panhandle with a baby in her arms and you go, yep. There's not much I should be worrying about right now. Sometimes it's so selfish though. Like anxiety yeah. isn't about what could be worse. I don't give a shit if it your life is worse. If I'm anxiety or whatever, so it just works for me. I mean, but that's your thing. Yeah. So my thing is not it could be worse. Cause I'm just like I don't care if it's worse. But then I'm. What like, snaps you out? Um, you still got other th things you want to do. Oh. And then I always think about like, what my family would have to deal with. I think that's the If one. you die? So, yeah. Oh. I always, that's like one thing. If I don't do this, then what are they? I would always, that's that one thing that kind of mm. snaps me out. I don't worry about whatever anybody else is going through because I'm being selfish. That's me with my son. Mm. Then you go, everybody has like their thing because yeah. yours yeah. is like, it could be worse. Then you're like, okay, cool. But yeah. that's why I call this my resting energy, right? Like, like to say that it could be worse to someone in a tailspin does not help them at all. Mm -hmm. Like it's just... It's just you might as well just leave them alone while they fucking spin out. No, right. I'm saying that's 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 for that's, that's for right. right. I know. I'm just saying that that's, that's a, lot good. Of, a lot of people do that, yeah. right? Yeah. Like yeah. they're like, well, it could be worse. Well, someone's like freaking out, and that doesn't help them. Like or the fake positives. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It has to come from them. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't tell that to them. To but if it's if it's yeah. from yourself, like let's say I am in a car accident in a literal tailspin. Yeah. And I'm like, well, I guess I could be upside down. <laughs> so like, right. That's fine. I'll just enjoy yeah. this car accident until I slam whatever. Pizza's flying in. Yeah. It has to come from the person. And it's totally one of those things. Like you should feel grateful. There's 
there's so many people that will probably see that and that are thinking, how ungrateful are these people to go and play around with death like that to feel better about an exam because they can go to school. They had an op like yeah, yeah, I think that's fucked up. But you, but, you, but you see how like a lot of people will say that shit, but everybody has their thing. I think as long as you acknowledge that, like for her, that could have saved her fucking whole life. Like yeah. she could have like realized that, oh shit, these exams are only one level and look at me now physically in the ground. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, I don't want to be here. It's all perspective. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. in Absolutely. Japan, a lot of people commit suicide when they fail exams. Fuck exams, college yeah. is where yeah. most of the shit goes down. Let's be, that's your first time being an individual. Because mind you, up, so until scary. That, up until that point, you have somebody telling you what to do, where to go, when to go there. No one teaches you how to be on your own. True. Unless well, you're in that type of environment. Nobody yeah. says this, but college is the closest thing to fucking gambling I've ever heard of. It's oh like, God. I, I just spent 30 grand on this next year and I'm about to fail, which means I'm gonna have to spend that again. Mm -hmm. It's like, and what about dude. all the kids with the professional degrees that are graduating with like two, three hundred thousand dollars in debt? Ooh. Yeah, starting. So you start lying. Starting the negative. Yeah. That's, that's almost like that needs to. Could you imagine though? It like, like you I said, it's the sleep Tennessee. deprivation tank. Or sensory so, deprivation. Sensory. There we go. Some people don't even want to like deal with that much of themselves. Mm -hmm. It's hard. Have you ever done sensory deprivation? Hell, I do sleep hypnosis, so I have to sit there. And What's do sleep hypnosis? Hour. Pretty much, it's the same. Like talk down. They're, it's more like um, they put you in scenarios, like in a lot of um, depending on what you're going for, and they help with whatever your goal is. Like I think I had one the other night um, that is like trying to meet like yourself or see your future self. So what it is is just you're, you're hearing and you're following in your mind a lot of the scenarios that they're telling you mm. to go through, but it forces you to get outside of whatever other yeah. bullshit you have or to address the bullshit. You said oh, cool. it's hypnosis? Mm, sleep hypnosis. I mean, I don't know how much, but it did get me from being unable to sleep at night to now I can go to sleep to the point to where now I don't even need it. Oh, that's time. And I've learned how, like, I've learned how to shut my brain off because I have to wake up at like early in the morning, and I was working till like I used to work till like four or five in the morning, and then have to be at work at like six a.m. Damn. Oh shit. So, and I did that for like nine years, but oh, everybody yeah. has to figure out because it could be worse, right? I could have not had a job, and why can't you go to sleep? And then I try to figure it out. But you know what's pretty cool? Watching monkeys eat bananas and play. And does that does that help you like relax. watching animals yeah. watching animals? Yeah, it's like a primitive thing like it just brings me back to reality and shit mm. yeah. That's your type of meditation that helps yeah. you go to yeah. sleep. Oh, no, I, I don't have problems going to sleep Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, just yeah. true. I could just fuck that's around okay. on phone and I just turn it off But I did though for like <laughs> most of my life. Yeah, but I don't know now. I'm, I'm cool I'm just all tired. I turn off the phone. I just knock out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude You know what helps me is like I think about how everyone's always says like we're all so fucked up as human beings and I and I'm like, dude, you look anywhere else. There's so much destruction fucking everywhere. Oh my god. Versus just destruction everywhere. Like a, a sun uh, becomes a super red giant and then it sucks inside of itself, becomes a black hole, starts sucking all the matter around it inside uh, of it. Oh yeah. Destruction's everywhere. Fucking look at nature. Every day a fucking bird wakes up, it tries not to die and get killed by a predator. And then the fucking worm tries not to get killed by the bird. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. there's so much of that. And we what? We go home, we, we're like, I gotta watch TV and the news. It's like, oh shit. Yeah. Have you ever thought about. <laughs> I remember one day I was like, I was driving and I was looking, I was like, how do these birds, like, you know everybody has like those kind of moments where you're not just trying to be super selfish and like, I gotta get to work and you're looking around like, did I just take this bird's home? How do we deal with this shit on a daily basis? Dude, one time a bird made its home in my laundry chute and I had to get it blasted out. <laughs> <laughs> like 3,000 psi of pressure. Oh, so they just fucking shit. launched it out. I saw the bird nest just fucking fly out the side of my thing. And I was like, shit. thank oh, God. Because then I could use my dryer again. <laughs> How'd you even discover it was in there? We saw it on the outside that the bird had pecked its way damn. through. Oh shit. We just bought our house. Oh damn. damn. You better blast that I'm shit. so pissed. Well you don't want anything you fucking with your house. Oh, that's oh. true. That's expensive. If you put laundry in, it wouldn't get dry. And I was like, mm-mm. No, no, not today, bird. Yep. Move that shit somewhere else. The nest launched out at like so 60 sweet. miles an hour. Fuck. Really? I try to worry about the birds, and he's like, listen, this motherfucking bird we're gonna build. <laughs> the bird or my clothes? Uh -huh. I don't give a fuck if it was a bald eel's nest. Get it the fuck out of there. <laughs> take all this air. At least, look, it's air. Yep. He knows it what it is. Worse. It could be worse. <laughs> Bitch, your whole shit could have been blown up by something else. It's air. Yep. Go yeah. and sit in a grave with that shit. <laughs> Rebuild, bitch. <laughs>
<laughs> that's true. That's you must rebuild. This was Steve. I said, bye. Yep. The air is what the bird's supposed to be good at, anyways. Right? I'm like, there's plenty of sticks out there. Yeah, go fucking fly somewhere else. Nobody cares yeah. if the rest of the nest didn't know how to fly yet. Whatever. Right. Learn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Survival of the fittest. There could have been. There could not have been. I don't know. I'll never know. But yeah, so this grave, they call it the purification grave. I want to lay in there. It's complete with a blanket and yoga mat. That's nice. And so oh, that sounds comfy. Cool. You could book it for like hour sessions. And there was this one guy that got interviewed and said <laughs> that he was trying to 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 go in, but it was like there was a long waiting list. Wow. Why don't they just make so more? You get anxiety just waiting in line. <laughs> but that, I mean, that sounds way less dramatic than when you first read it. I'm thinking of somebody like. Putting what? you in a coffin? Yeah, if and you're going into shut. the ground, yeah, yeah. that's oh, what I was. I was feeling thinking, lowered into yeah, the ground. Yeah, oh, that's shit. what I was thinking. What was going on? Not a hole in the ground that you just lay in and you're looking like that puts you in fucking perspective. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> what if you got a P2 right when you get in the coffin and they're like slamming it shut and you're like, oh fuck! I saw that they did that um, in uh, oh no, it was different. Kill Bill. You no, it was it Korea no, or Japan? Japan? In Euphoria, when they did that like so sobriety ex exercise where they had a mirror oh. in the coffin. No, but they were just looking in it. That's true. That's I why see I said myself in this grave. Um, yeah, that's intense. Though. Playing with death is also liberating. Mm -hmm. Playing? They say sleeping is actually you playing in between the two realms. I buy it because I have sleep paralysis and I see some okay. fucked up shit that I'm like, I, I think this is kind of real. Oh, mm. fuck. Damn. You get it uh, regularly? Yeah. I'd like to hear more. I'll tell you, it's interesting. It's pretty, it's wild ass shit. It's scary. Yeah. Scary? I don't know if you want to know. I want to know. It's scary. Scary. I don't think I'm I'll talk about it on Patreon only. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 